good, they were good, not the fish. Oh, they were good, they were good. They snapped me off. I don't know, I think this is the big one, I don't. Alright everybody, welcome back. At the end of my last session, I left being very annoyed as I had no maggots left and my rod snapped them because I sat on it. So, well, as soon as I got home from that session, I ordered a new rod. And the rod was the Ron Thompson Trout and Perch Stick. It looked like a very good rod and I had decent and good reviews. The thing was, the rod was going to be delivered the next week just after my England trip. So as soon as I got back from that, um, I went to the barn to try my new rod and it was flooded. And the reason was because there was heavy rain in Scotland when I was in England. Anyway, I decided to come back really early in the morning the next day to chum the spot to get the fish feeding again and confident. The thing was, I noticed that there was more trout than usual. I thought to myself, it was either because the trout had spawned or some came in during the flood. Anyway, I planned to fish later on that day, about 12. But the thing was, I had no bait, I only had about like two, three sand eels left. So I went to the shop and got some bread and then decided to fish. So here's the footage. I've got the bread, so let's go fishing. Sand eel, sorry. Um, today it's, uh, it's about 12 o'clock right now and it's pretty sunny, it's about, don't, mm, I've not checked, it's about 15, 17, something like that. And you can hear there's a slight breeze. Um, I've came down today very early in the morning, chummed the spot down here a wee bit and I can already see that there's a few trout hanging about that spot. Hopefully it's a good day and we catch a buddy. Right guys, I've got a bit of white bread on as my hook bait and I've got, I've made a few wee balls of uh, bread so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck them down so that the fish get used to seeing a, um, a bit of bait swim by and obviously not getting hooked by it so they get confident feeding. So, just going to drop it in. There are boom already, one's already went for it. Drop down a bit further down there. Sorry about that, um, my thingy, uh, my my rod, oh the line got cut round the wheel. Okay. Dropping it down, dropping it down, and we're just going to let it drift. So I can drift. Yeah, I was unsuccessful. I'll try and I'll, I'll make it a bit smaller. Tried making my bread a bit smaller and that didn't work. So I just decided to take off the bread and switch the sand deal because it was a natural bait and I would reckon the trip would like the natural bait better. So now all the big ones come out. <laughs> I'd like to just see them all hanging about down there. So what I'm going to do is just cut wee bits off like that. Right. I need to be very careful right here. Not to spook them. It's alright. Gonna just drop that down. Very easily, very easily, very. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god, I swear it was a big enough bit that I swear on my life. Right. Get down again. Come on. Come on, where are you trying? 
you can see as soon as I switched baits I started getting more baits and it was a matter of time before I got a fish come on and it has a trout as well there we go there we go there we go what the this is a decent one straight away see how hard these guys fight Oh, this is not the big one, but this is a beauty. They've got plenty of fight in them. There we go. There we go, indeed. Nice, beautiful trout. Like some line up. There he is. Right, everyone. We've got the fish in the net right now, and here we go. Look at this beauty. This is what you call a brown trout. Look at that. Amazing. Let's go put him back. So there we go, we've caught the first trout on the new rod. Um, it's not really about the new rod, it's about catching the big end, but that was a very, very strong fighting fish, and the big end I would say, I would say is about a third bigger than that. So, first fish, and yeah, let's go catch some more. Bag a bit. It's very odd if this place is like the fish come and then the fish go. It's getting sunny again, so they'll come out again. Come on, get to the water. For some reason, there's good lives in my hands keep going. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, he snapped me off. As soon as that happened, I knew this was the period of time that the big one would be biting. So I quickly got home, tied a new hook on, and went back okay. to the spot. Some things better, some things worse. Right, they've all came out again. It went sunny. Right. I just need to drift it past every single one. So it looks not. Oh my god, that's big. That was big. That was big. That was big. Oh my god. Right, we've got something. What the hell? Ah. Oh. I don't know if you can see, but the waters went clear now. So, yeah. Probably on the feed now. That's when I got. That's when I got the big one. So drop the bait down and get a fish. I've only got 30 minutes more of this session left. So I mean. Huh. There we go, another fish. Oh my god. Oh my days. <gasps> I don't know, I think this is the big one. I don't. Oh my. Oh, come on. Oh, get, get, I'm 
coming at. Oh, oh my god, almost. I think he's tired. Oh, oh. There we go. Right, leave him. Leave him the water to rest. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy the video make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. See you later.